What is going on guys? It's Li Zhang of Auto Flirt here and today I'm making another trip into town looking for a couple of supercars again. Now the last time I went into town it was just a very sort of casual supercar spotting, you know, just go to sites that I know and see what I can find. But today things are gonna be a bit different. What I plan on doing today is that um, there are three cars that I'm looking out for um, because in the Instagram fear, there has been a lot of feed coming from this jet black Lamborghini Aventador SV that resides in Knightsbridge and is probably a place that I walk by a lot but I just don't visit um, the back roads enough and as a result I probably missed out but there's been a ridiculous amount of feed. In fact, here is one of the Instagrammers that I'm on about. Um, yeah, he's got like two shots of it. His name's Caleb. You guys can check him out on uh, Instagram. Yeah, he's got some pretty sweet work coming up there. Um, but yeah, there's there's another shot of it back, and it's in this place called um, where is it? Yeah, see that? Zuma, London. Now that's not a place that I've been to. And apparently that's on Knightsbridge, so you know, typically that's the main place that I go to when I look for supercars. So we're gonna go looking for that specific Lamborghini in those back roads. Hopefully we come back with something that's the first one. The second or more like two cars kind of come in a pair. Um, the Martini Porsche 918 and a LaFerrari. Now these two, as far as I can tell, the feed that I've been getting back from Instagram both of these cars travel in Paris. You could almost say that. Maybe they're owned by the same person. I don't know. But it's somewhere along Knightsbridge as well. I think closer to Hyde Park Corner. So we're gonna make our way down there today and look for those cars. Let's go. Alright guys, so now I am at Hyde Park Corner. I'm a bit indecisive of whether I should go to the Dorchester or not because um, the last time I was there I didn't see anything particularly too eye-catching but I'm hoping for a bit more... Ooh, shit. Traffic is heavy today. But yeah, so um, the LaFerrari and the Porsche Martini 918 is down behind me that way. Uh, which is where Knight's, Tri Knight Knight's Bridge begins. Um, but the Dorchester is that way, which is where Hilton Park Lane is. So I am still trying to make a decision. You know what, since we're here, let's go to Dorchester. Oh, I have to say, uh, even for London traffic today is building up. I mean, look at that. And look at what we have all the way over there. For those of you who don't know, that was a Porsche 911 Turbo S. Uh, and something else is happening. Uh, yeah, I can see why there's no traffic on the oncoming side of the road, and uh, here's why. I think I'm the only one walking in the opposite direction, but I have no idea what this is about. This is no trident. Maybe someone of you could Google that up for me or something. But yeah, it looks like a guy talking to a camera on the streets of London isn't the most exciting thing that's happening. I came here to look for cars. Why is everyone talking about peas? Trident, scrap, trident. National Health Action Park. Okay, it's a political thing. It's always, it always has to be a political thing. But back to subject. This is a car channel. Let's try to keep it that way. Um, um. Let's find McLarens and Ferraris and Lamborghinis and just forget about all this. Now unfortunately the Dorchester, which is where I am right now, is situated, I'm sorry for the wind again, but it is situated along the main road. So I hope that lady with the horn isn't too loud and it's just overpowering what I'm trying to say to the camera, but here we are. And there are a couple of interesting things. Come check 
check it out. We got a beautifully spec Porsche 911 Carrera S. Uh, even comes to the red brake calipers and the wheels that I love. I think those are P. Oh uh, yeah, those are P zeros. But right next to it is something really special. So what you guys are looking at here is a Bravus G-Wagon 700. Now this is something that even I've never seen for myself um, in person. I'm not, I'm personally not too big of a fan on the G-Wagon, but this one's quite interesting. I'd like to show you guys the interior, but it's kind of tinted. Uh, but if you can see, it's, oh, damn, it's too bloody dark. But yeah, from the front at least, and... Uh, I'm just trying to show you guys that it's in left-hand drive, which is quite a rare thing if I'm honest. And um, we got a phantom drop head. Oh man, this thing looks like a boat. And it's registered in um, UAE. And right behind me now is a Mercedes SL63 AMG. Now that's a rare car, considerably at least in my experience. But yeah, it's a good looking thing. Let's check it out. So as it turns out, there has been quite a bit happening at the Dorchester today, so, you know, all in all, that's a good start. Let's just walk away from that mad parade, uh, that crazy protest, whatever Trident is. Um, you guys could comment down in the comment section below, tell me a bit more about it because I am from Malaysia, I'm an international student, so I'm not too well versed in the politics here, but, you know, let's just educate each other for a little bit. But I'm heading back into, um, the roads at the back of the Dorchester to see what I'm able to find because the Mercedes SL AMG 63 just now came here. So I'm under the assumption that there has to be something good parked back here. So let's go check it out. Now here we've got a Maybach. Oh look, my name. Lee. Yeah. A Maybach Zeppelin. Now, if I'm honest, I can't actually tell you too much about the Maybach because I personally don't know too much about it. But uh, all I can tell you is that it's got a really long wheelbase. Now, I don't know how well the camera picks this up, but it does have a considerably long wheelbase. So far, everything that has shown up on this street at the back of me has been Bentleys and uh, Aston, Rolls Royces, typically more luxury based cars and it's not so much as Supers that I'm looking for. So let's get a bit more focused. Goodbye Dorchester and hello Knightsbridge. S63 AMG. I haven't got to see one of these for myself yet. so much of a motorcycle person but that is sick Ooh, that's a good noise about London is that when it comes to luxury cars two names Rolls-Royce Bentley okay I am now approaching the Wellesley come on no La Ferrari no Porsche 918 Ugh. They're supposed to be right here, but looks like they're not. That's two cars off the list. That wasn't present at all whatsoever. Oh, what is that? What is that, man? What is that? Yeah, Ferrari 458 Spider stuck in traffic and not too far behind it. McLaren. Oh shit, AMG GT. Shit, look at that. 
Hello, Mr. H. R. Owen. Mm. Dave, son, you handsome. Now for those of you who don't know, this is, it is the replacement for one of the most talked about cars in recent years because we all remember the Ferrari 458 and that's the Ferrari 488 and I've noticed something else as well It comes with a front end camera, see that? Now frankly, that's not something I've seen on a supercar ever It's quite a refreshing piece of new tech Alright, so we're back on Sloan Street. Um, again, London's not too busy today, so all the cars are a little bit missing. Does that make sense? My hands are actually so cold right now. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Mm. The Jaguar F Type S. Now personally to me, this is going to be one of the best looking cars of our time. It's actually inspired from the uh, Jaguar E-Type. You guys can look that up, Google if you don't know what it is. It's a car from like the 1950s or something like that. But it is fierce, it is beautiful, striking, elegant. I want one. Alright Mr. Harrod, coming for you. Let's just hope that it has some good stuff to offer us today. Oh, car, 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 run. Get off the main road, get off the main road. Hear him though. Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes me very happy. Let's see what else we can find. Now oh, that is an interesting paint job. This is a Porsche Macan. It's the smaller version of the Cayenne. I don't know about you guys, but brown for me is not a bad color now that I'm actually here viewing it. But what is even more awesome is what is sitting in front of the Porsche. This is a BMW M5 finished in matte grey. The thing I find is that a lot of the time we don't actually realise how much a paint job can really reveal how good a car can actually look, especially when it has lines like those. So really, the next time you choose a colour, just don't forget that there's a good possibility that the paint job that you pick actually complements with the lines that your car has. Auto flirt tip there. <laughs> Alright, so coming back to it, the last car that we are hunting for is the Lamborghini Jet Black Aventador SV. This is the street it should be at, but there is nothing happening here. Like I said before, it was um, spotted in this place called Zuma. But uh, quite obviously, there's nothing down here in the meantime. Yeah, I'm too broke to afford whatever that's in there, so let's keep hunting. Alright, anyway, so I think today this is gonna be my last stop for the day. I'm ending this video somewhere special. I am at McLaren! Yeah, that's right, and that, that back there is the 570S, the latest baby McLaren baby with 500 horsepower this is actually the first time i'm seeing the baby mclaren the 570s and it is it's actually a lot more appealing here in person than it is on the internet so don't get fooled regardless of what the internet might be able to display for you the car is actually a lot better looking in person i'm sorry for the reflection i can't really do much about that but it's actually a phenomenal looking thing Especially in that spec, that, that silver with the yellowish orange brakes and the seat belt. Personally to me, I think that the only bit that doesn't really appeal for me for this car is the back. Well, I can't call it basic because it's not, but really I think it just looks a little bit too simple. But regardless, still a phenomenal thing. The profile is just to die for. 
Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It has been wonderful just producing this video. My camera is almost out of battery and I'm a bit worried about that. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would be so much appreciated for a starting out YouTuber like me. But if you didn't like the video, just give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why you left it there. You know, give me some feedback because quite obviously I'm still new to this YouTube game and your feedback is always appreciated. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.